What's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the RGB switch effect. So let's get into it. Now this effect is also known as chromatic aberration and this is just the process of separating the red, the green and the blue channels and overlapping them on top of each other. This can be used as a really creative music video effect and it can really help to add a lot of style and a lot of character to your films. The good thing about this effect is you don't need any specific editing software to be able to do this. You just need to have a multi-track video editor. So for this example I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's load up our editor and get to work. Once you have loaded up your video editor of choice, we just need to import some footage to begin this effect on. So we're going to go over to the import media to start tab. We're going to create a brand new bin. So that's by pressing this new bin button here. Rename this to footage. And then we're just going to go inside that folder and we're just going to import our footage. So we're going to double click, press import. And now we're just going to navigate through our finder and we're just going to go through and find our video files. Now once you've found these and you've imported these into your folder, we just need to create a brand new sequence. So for this, I'm just going to select this video clip here. I'm going to double click and I'm just going to select new sequence from clip. Now that's created this sequence here. And if I scroll through, this is a clip of me doing a backflip from a wall in Barcelona. Now I'm just going to delete the audio from this video clip because we don't need any audio. So I'm going to double click, press unlink, and then I'm just going to select all of these audio layers and delete this right here. So to begin this effect, we just need to begin by copying and pasting this video layer two times. So that means we have three video layers. So let's just select this, hold down command, press C. We're going to lock the first video layer and then we're going to press command V. Go back to the very beginning, lock the second video layer and hold command V again. Perfect. And that's created three video layers. So now from here, we just want to go over to our effects tab over here. And now from here, we just want to search for RGB and that's going to bring up RGB color balance. So from here, we're just going to drag this onto our first video layer and we're going to go over to the effect controls. Now from here, you can see all of these are set to 39, 39 and 39. But we're going to begin by taking green down to zero and we're going to drop blue down to zero also. Perfect. Now we want to move on to the second video layer and we want to drag that effect onto the second video layer. And we're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to keep the green 100 and we're going to pull red and blue down to zero. So pull those down. And lastly, we just want to drag color balance onto the bottom video layer. And same thing again, we're just going to pull the others down to zero, but we're going to keep blue at its original value. So we'll pull green and we'll pull red down to zero percent. So now if I flick through all of these video layers, we have blue, green and red. And that's exactly what we need to complete the effect. So from here, we just need to adjust the opacity and we need to set the blending mode to lighten. So I'm just going to do that by going over to opacity, blend mode and lighten. And I'm just going to go through and do that to all of the video layers here. So if we watch this back, you'll notice that the colors have gone back to the original colors of the video. And that's because the red, the green and the blue channels are all present. If we were to hide one of these video layers, then it would look really funky. So now that we've applied the color balance RGB and we've set the blend mode to lighten to all three video layers, we now need to go back over into the effects tab and we need to search for a lens distortion. And that should be, here it is, it's down on the bottom in the distort tab. So we're just going to drag that on top of that first video layer right there. And now, as you can see, we have lens distortion down here in the effect controls tab. And I'm just going to pull the curvature down to a specific value. So I'm going to keep it subtle for this example. I'm going to go down to negative 10, but feel free to get as creative as you like. You can get some really interesting results if you take this all the way down to negative 100. But for now, we'll keep this at negative 10. We're going to do the same thing again for the next video layer. So we're going to go down to video layer two. We'll drag lens distortion onto that layer and we're going to pull down the curvature. Now, in order to see this effect, we need the curvature to be a different amount to the one on the top. So we're not going to do negative 10 on this one. We're going to do a slightly different value. So let's do let's do negative 18. And now last time we're going to drag lens distortion onto the bottom video layer, go up to effect controls and we're going to pull the curvature down to around. Let's keep it subtle. Let's go down to negative five. 
Now that is it, that is the RGB effect complete. As you can see, all of the colors are bleeding out from this building, bleeding from the wall, the people, the palm trees. It all looks really awesome. But if you wanted to create a more trippy and more insane video effect, then we can just pull down on the curvature even further to create an awesome effect. So let's pull down the curvature on this top video layer down to negative 80. We'll go down to the second layer, we'll pull this down to negative 50, let's go 64. And then the bottom layer, we'll pull this down to a negative 72. And now if we watch this back, that has created an insane, really trippy video effect, which looks really awesome. This would be really good if you're doing a scene in like a music video where somebody's on drugs or some sort of like hallucination scene. It looks really cool. And if you use it correctly in your video projects, then this can look really awesome and it can look really cool. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future.